asking you a question, for real. Yes, sir. Okay, what color is that here? This diamond looks yellow. Yellow. How about now? No, it's like a whitish purple. Whitish violet kind of a Okay, it's a color changing diamond. Go try to find another one. I, t I gave you the exact recipe, now go to try to find another one. I gave you the recipe if you were listening, right? This one right here is an amazing diamond. It's color changing. Why is it color changing? Because it's a very strong fluorescence and the diamond's color is like an ST color, so it's yellowish. So indoors, you can tell it has a warm color, yellowish color. Now watch, it will instantly transform the moment it gets into the sun's uh, natural light, which has ultraviolet rays in it, UV rays. Keep your eye on the diamond, okay? Watch me, come follow me, follow me. Walk. Okay, we're just gonna open the door. We're gonna open the door. Come this way, this way. Well, keep your eye on the diamond, on the diamond. You watching it? Wait, the moment we get out into the natural light, completely transformed. Did you see that? It's coming to you, huh? I'm asking if you saw that. Comment below if you saw that, watch. We're gonna go back, one step inwards. Are you seeing the color change? Asking you a question, for real. Yes, sir. Okay, what color is that here? This diamond looks yellow. Yellow. How about now? No, it's like a whitish purple. Whitish violet, kind of a... There you go. It's like, it's not magic, folks, it's science. Okay, it's a color changing diamond. Go try to find another one. I, t I gave you the exact recipe, now go to try to find another one. I gave you the recipe if you were listening, right? Come, come. Comment below if, rewind the video and comment below if you caught the recipe to get a color changing diamond. I'm not gonna say it again. Anyway, by the way, this is a 10 karat oval set in a rose gold custom built ring. The reason this ring and diamond look so perfect together is because I scanned the entire diamond into my computer animated design software. So I have every single measurement down to the hundredth of a millimeter scanned and then I build the ring around that. So when after my 3D printer prints the model and I go ahead and cast the ring, this diamond will fit into the into the dime into the ring like a glove no spaces anywhere we're not trying to make things match up and that just makes life a little bit easier for my diamond setter because the ring was built for the center diamond that's something i do all the time look at all the little diamonds set in here anyways that there was a demonstration of cool diamonds that I have in my collection. You wanna go take it outside one more time? Keep an eye on it. Now, right now, it looks kind of yellowish, right? Okay. Uh, watch me, watch me. Follow my, follow my hand. Are you following it? Yeah. Come, 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 fast. Supposed to have it faster, 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 faster. Thanks. That, no, no, don't worry. That's normal. Yeah, yeah. What, what do you say? Come. What do I say? Nothing. Did it change color? Do you see it change color? Yeah. Not even in the direct sunlight. One picture email. Back indoors. Okay.
see what happened to it. Are you seeing it get really blue? That's a very strong blue fluorescence.